Okay. So what we're going to do is, I got a skeleton. I should actually do one other little thing while I'm at it. I got my whole skeleton all hooked up in here. Um, I can go in here and grab the root and I'm just going to go and, oops, don't change the name of it. Go and group it. I just hit control G on the keyboard or edit group and then I've grouped it. And this makes my life a bit easier later on skeleton underscore gurp for the love of God name your joints okay um, and also I'm gonna call that group great so next thing I want to do we want to bind and so far I've only got the body and the skeleton I'm just gonna grab the two I'm gonna grab the skeleton I'll uh, actually root and then I'll go in and I'll grab this body if I go into skin, we've got the option here for bind skin. Okay. And I've got, if I just go edit reset settings, make sure you check. Um, Cause I do all sorts of weird tricks. We're going to go joint hierarchy on this one and bind method closest distance. When you're dealing with the body, the geodesic voxel is quite awesome. Okay. Quite awesome. Um, it doesn't, I'd use closest distance if I'm going to be using, uh, when I do the teeth and the tongue, okay, and the hair maybe, but, uh, geodesic voxel when I'm dealing with the body is quite awesome. Maximum influences, let's put that down to say three. And if we crank up the fall off here, and I hit to bind skin, la la la, and it's thinking, okay, great. And we can just check it out. Let's grab let's grab the hips and see what happens to our geometry. And I might put on wireframe on shaded so we can kind of see. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. What happens if let's undo that? Actually I just realized something else I forgot to do with the skeleton, but we'll check on that in a second. You can see that it kind of keeps the same shape here. That's cool. And if I do this, I'm gonna have to do weighting to this, but actually that's doing a nice job. Okay. La 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 And to get it back into the bind position, like if I had my legs doing whatever, okay, you can grab any joint and you can go to skin and you can hit go to bind pose. Boop. Once we have the rigging in place, you can't do that so easily. Um, I recommend that you grab the root joint and you say set preferred angle. I'm just right clicking set preferred angle. That can also be found under skeleton set preferred angle. And so now when I go and I do stuff with the legs or whatever, I can right click and I can go set or assume preserve, presume, <laughs> assume preferred angle and boom, goes back. Okay. That makes your life easier. Um, and let's see. Simple waiting. We can just check the head. Let's hide the hair for a second here. Control H. I'm just going to grab this joint in the head. And you can see that the head is like, uh, just like tripping, man. Tripping. Uh. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to paint some weights here for the head. So I'm going to hit the uh, right click. And I'm going to go into paint. And I'm going to go to th skin cluster. Let's see what we happens when we get open this or when we open up this option here. Let's just go and make this large. Okay. And this gives us a list of our joints. So if you've named your joints, your life is going to be easy. Er. Okay. You can go through this list of joints and you can pick your joints. Okay. I've got another trick too. If you just take the joint and you right click and you go select influence, boom, you get to the the joint and what it's doing. You can see white means that that joint is influencing this area and black means it isn't. Okay. And I typically like to use add. Um, as I go down here, I also like use color ramp. Use color ramp's pretty handy when you're looking at things. I can just make my brush a bit bigger. I'm just going to hit B, make it bigger. So this whole head should be white for this neck three joint. You can see it's selected over here. Okay. And just trying to get this all. And you can see the teeth are being left behind and so, so is the tongue. Okay, so typically I swear that if you use add when you're painting your weights, you'll never have a problem. Okay, I find that sometimes these other tools suck. 
they they work beautifully for a little while and then they just totally blow it on you and then you crash and then you're under the table crying okay let's do something like this okay great and we'll say that's good okay so that's worked and then we get to the neck area here and i kind of gone a little bit overboard but then i can go here and this is the freaking devil actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go and file save scene as right now uh, oh I haven't been saving in a while I've been bad I'm just gonna call this skeleton okay great continue okay great so um, when you go here down here to smooth smooth will go in and even things out for you blend them in it does a nice job and it, but it is the freaking devil man it sometimes does this wonderful job and then all of a sudden it just decides to bite you in the ass uh, let's see this head here okay I'm not gonna bother doing that side just gonna do this side and blend it in as best I can okay and so now we get this and I'm just gonna grab this joint and I'm gonna say assume preferred angle okay um, and you notice that uh, my weighting is kind of different on one side to the other uh, what I can do is I can go here to skin and there's a mirror skin weights option okay and I'm gonna go across the YZ positive to negative positive means that I'm oh I still got the snap to projected centers on that means that I'm in the if I look down here I'm in the positive X when I'm doing this okay when I hit apply oh, I gotta select the mesh hit apply and it's it's gone in and it's mirrored the skin weight so if I check this out and I grab the rotate tool now we got a pretty good solid head. I might have some problems with the geometry in the mouth. I'm just going to go into four, and you can see when I'm rotating around, see the mouth cavity isn't behaving quite right. So I'm going to try another trick here. Here's another good one. Oop. Select the mesh, and I go and I select vertices. Grab all the vertices here in this area. Go back to the paint skin weights tool, and if I'm on neck three, la 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 here. I'm going to put add on and then there's just a flood button Boop, and they're all flooded to it and it's perfect. Okay, let's hit five and then I realized that when I flooded I grabbed some other things so let's go back here and right click select and then I'll go back to smooth and I'll smooth it out again. And then I can mirror the weights afterwards again. Okay, but there you go. So that's a, that's a cool trick and oh, what did I miss? Somehow I missed that when I did a mirror. Did I rotate this when I mirrored it? Anyway, whatever. Um, so that covered it. Oh, it's because I went and did it. Okay, whatever. So um, that's all working. I'm happy and I know it. Well, let's just go back here for a second. I'm going to grab this joint and I'm going to say assume preferred angle. Maybe I realize when I look at it from the right view. You know what? I'm not really happy with this pivot point. Um, another trick I can do is under skin there's a thing here called move skin joints so if you realize you screwed up okay you can move your joint and say okay it's probably somewhere right around there and now I'll go back and I'll rotate it and now my pivot point for my head joint has been moved and this maybe seems a bit better we'll see sometimes when I'm moving it I have a tendency to grab the two at the same time and then they seem a bit more nice Okay, um, let's just go into wireframe for a second. I'm just going to make sure you can see I got the teeth and the tongue selected. I'm going to grab this one joint here in the head, and I'm going to go to skin. I'm going to go to bind skin, and this time around I'm going to choose closest distance, and I'm going to choose selected joints. So I don't have to do any weighting. They're just going to be bound to that one joint, and that's what I just did. Okay, and everything seems to be working out well. Um, if I'm cooking spaghetti and I can smell the noodles burning. Okay, so um, the next thing I want to quickly mention is that if you're painting weights, start at the tips and work your way up the arm. Typically what I do is I start at the tip of my toe, work up to my hip. Then I go in here, I'll do the head, and I'll work down my spine a little bit, and I'll stop right around here, do my arm all the way here, and then I'll go down to the hip. That's how I work, and then I mirror it over. Okay, and I'm going to have to stop this one right here.